Welcome to Drawn in 60 Seconds, where I give you a rapid run through of a topic in history. Today I'm going to take you through part three of the US system of government. Don't forget from part one and two that the founding fathers thought it best to create a system which separated the powers of government into three parts to avoid the potential tyranny of a monarch. One of these three branches of government is the US Congress, which has a number of specific powers, its most important being the drafting of laws, a considerable power, I think you'd agree. Despite the president being the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Congress alone can declare war. In addition, the raising and dispersing of the nation's finances is the responsibility of the US Congress, meaning very little can get done by other branches of government without congressional acquiescence. Although the president controls the major appointments in US government, these appointments must be ratified by Congress. More than this, all treaties negotiated by the president must be agreed by Congress. Finally, Congress holds the power to impeach and remove the president, provided sufficient members vote for this action. Surely all of these powers make the Congress the most powerful of the three branches of government. Watch part four to find out.